uh, these two stories from the New York Times and the Washington Post over uh, the weekend. We've seen President Trump's uh, reaction. says being asked about it is insulting. was tweeting all morning yesterday, I think about a dozen tweets about the New York Times story. But what are you picking up from others inside the president's orbit? Uh, well, well, look, I mean, the, the story in the New York Times was an extraordinary reflection of the level of distrust between the FBI leadership and the president and the, the, how suspicious the president's behavior was, that they actually were at, at the, the, to the point of investigating... The letters not, about firing Comey, the interview with Lester Holt. Yes. And, and, and actually going to the point of investigating whether or not effectively the president was a Russian agent. But what I am getting is that this is all building up to the Mueller report and raising expectations of a bombshell report. And there have been expectations that have been building, of course, for over a year on this. But people who are closest uh, to, to what Mueller has been doing, who have interacted with the special counsel, caution me that this report is almost certain to be anticlimactic. That if you look at what the FBI was investigating in that New York Times report, look at what they were investigating, Mueller did not go anywhere with that investigation. He has been writing his report in real time through these indictments, and we have seen nothing from Mueller on the central question of was there any coordination, collusion with the Russians in the effort to meddle in the elections, or was there even any knowledge on the part of the president or anybody in his campaign with what the Russians were doing? They haven't laid that out yet.